some Stone Age ball pythons. I'm doing a series of videos on the easy way to breed insects. This is just the way that I've uh, found that's easiest for me. I've looked at all kinds of videos, websites, and just kind of picked the best from each one and I'm going to put it together and kind of show you how everything works. Um, I picked up 3,000 mealworms from Rainbow Mealworms in California. Um, gave some to my mom, she has chickens, fed them off. So I started probably with about 1,500. And uh, what you want to do is you want to have a separate container for like your uh, your larger mealworms. And then uh, you have once your mealworms uh, hit a certain age, they uh, pupate into the larva. Let me see if I can grab one and show you real quick. That's a mealworm pupa. And then once I get a pupa, I grab it and I throw it up in this box up here. And you just want to separate your pupa and put them in uh, to an individual container and then they'll morph into beetles. You can see there, i got a, quite a few beetles in here. And then once they get to the beetle stage, you take them out of here and you put them in to a separate container. This is all my mealworm beetles, and I'm not sure how many there are, but I have a ton of them. And I produce a lot of mealworms. You can see how many are in this. Um, what I do for the one with the meal, mealworm beetles in it is I cut the bottom out and I put a, a me middle mesh on the bottom. It allows uh, the smaller mealworms and the eggs to fall down into the next container. And I'll uh, show you that real quick. And this is the container that is below the beetles. And I'll uh, I'm going to sweep my hand in here see if we can see anything. There's quite a few in here. Zoom up real quick. And you can see all those in there. There's a, there's a bunch. Once they hit a certain uh, certain length and, and girth, I throw them into this one I showed you earlier. And then uh, sometimes you get too many, <laughs> so you have to have like an overflow uh, area. This one probably has a bunch in it. Yeah, it's got quite a, few, quite a few. See all those? Now, all I feed them is uh, pretty much carrots. I don't like potatoes for the mealworms. And I put some celery in there. They kind of chew on it a little bit. But the life cycle of a mealworm is uh, from egg. So say the eggs are in the bottom of this right here. They're going to be an egg for four to seven days. Uh, and then those eggs will hatch. They'll grow up and be mealworms for up to ten weeks. And then uh, from the pupa stage right here, it's uh, 6 to 18 days. I find that pretty accurate. Some of them morph sooner, some of them take longer. And then once they're the beetles, they, uh, they stay the beetles 8 to 12 weeks. And they will, uh, I think they produce 5 a day. So if you've got like 300, you're producing a ton, depending on your needs. I have leopard geckos and lots of babies hatching out this season, so it's going to be nice having all these extra mealworms. Uh... But yeah, guys, if you have any questions or in, on uh, this video or any of the other videos I put up for the easiest way to breed insects or feed your insects, uh, please check those videos out and let me know.